Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's a cool episode because we did an art fair over in Eau Claire. It was the Banbury Art Crawl in Eau Claire. And I knew I was gonna make a YouTube video out of this. I just knew it. So, so when we were there, when we were setting up, I was taking video, making good commentary. And then when the show was actually going on, I'm taking more video, doing more commentary. And then when I reviewed everything, I found out that we had our square reader in there. And when that happens, it doesn't record audio. So it's all, so a lot of it is just trash. And I'm gonna die lonely and abandoned behind a dumpster of a bowling alley. <laughs> I'm gonna die five pounds overweight and no one's ever gonna love me. But it was fun, I mean, we, we actually felt like successful artists. Well, I shouldn't say successful. We actually felt like actual artists because Kara sold things and I sold things. People loved all of our art. I mean, I mean, how can you not love our art? I mean, really? I mean, my mom likes it. Everybody has to like it then. What should I talk about? I had this all planned and it's all falling apart right in front of me. <sighs> We've done one, you know, an art fair before, but this was like our first real one we felt like. We spent a week prior setting up the tent inside the garage, figuring out how do we want to hang the paintings, how much woodworking do we want to show, how much pottery do we want to show, and we figured it all out. You know, it was several days of just prepping, getting stuff ready, getting the tags ready, making sure our little square credit card reader worked, Figuring out how are we gonna store money, how much money do we need. The, the biggest kick in the butt was I wanted to rent a cargo van. We found out that for like two days, cargo van would be around $600 to rent with all the miles we had to put on it. And it's like, oh my God, no. So we just stuck everything into two vehicles, which we didn't want to do. We just got done spending about mm, two hours packing up all our art for our art fair in Eau Claire. Packed it all up in the truck and the car. We were really hoping to rent a cargo van because it's all in one place and we don't have to sit there and try and crouch down inside the cab of a truck. But we found out renting one for two days would cost $600. So we decided to say, screw it. And we put everything in here. So you can see there's lots of paintings in that one. Most of my woodworking is in that one, along with everything else. And we are trying to figure out our lives and it's difficult growing up and being an adult, but you know what, we're gonna give it our best shot. We're gonna do it. We're gonna make everybody proud. It was nice doing it in here because it's nice and warm. But when we unpack tomorrow, we're gonna be outside and it's gonna be about 20 degrees. So we hope it goes fast. So we'll keep everybody updated. So be cool, okay. Bye everybody, it's late, it's after nine. We're going to bed and eating while they sleep. We're gonna eat first, then go to bed. Okay, bye. But it worked out well because like most booths, you only have a 10 foot by 10 foot area. So of course we overfilled it because you know we're nerds, but we set it up like an art show. We really wanted that art show feel. Not a, not an art fair, we wanted to set it up like a little gallery, like a mini little art gallery. I am not eating my feelings. I'm being vocal. The area, which is in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, we know there's lots of art stuff going on. We're just not familiar with any of it. Chew and gum. Yeah. Got a half an hour left. Having fun. Sat down for a lot. Yep. My butt hurts. My butt hurts. <laughs> yep. Then we'll be packing up, driving back home, unpacking tomorrow, putting everything back. But it's okay because it's still the weekend. So I even called up the local art gallery that I knew about and invited them over. No clue if they did come over, but a lot of cool stuff happened. Of course, the best thing about it is all the compliments you get. We love, oh my God, people are coming in. It's just beautiful. Oh my God, it's beautiful. And then, you know, even if we didn't sell anything, just the people there with all the compliments, loving our stuff, that's essentially all we really needed. I mean, it's 
It's kind of like personal validation. It's really nice when somebody comes in there, a complete stranger, and just gives you a compliment and tells you everything is just beautiful. It's great. It's like, we must be doing something right. So even if we didn't sell anything, it wouldn't have bothered us because people got to see our things. And that was our main goal. Show people what we can do. Show people that we make stuff because you can make all the stuff in the world, all the art in the world. And if nobody knows about it, you can't sell it. So our primary goal was just to show our stuff because we make lots of stuff. Best part about it was watching people and their expressions. Ooh, there's a lot of cool stuff, a lot of, a lot of funny things going on. People are scared to come in the booth. So in everything that we researched about having an art fair, they always told you and suggest stand out, fr stand out front of your booth. I'm standing out like this and I was also standing like this. We found out people would walk up to the booth, but they wouldn't go in because she says, well, you're standing out there and you look like a bouncer. So I decided to sit down. And then people actually went in the booth. It's like, ooh. Kara, she was sitting down in the corner of the booth. And we found out then when they went in, they'd see Kara, but then they wouldn't turn the corner because we had everything, you know, a big U shape. So people could walk down one side, go around, come out the other way. And so Kara was thinking, I wonder if they're scared of me. Scared with a T, by the way. And so she came out, we we're both in front of our booth sitting down, and then people would actually come in and walk all the way around and come out. And we looked at each other like, wow. Everything they said was a lie. So at least for that art show, we sat down and people actually came in. There's a lot of cool other stuff that we'll have to show you. So, so, so I'll show you. Girls, they got heavy. Carrying them, I mean. Not fat, but heavy. When we're packing up and it got really quiet in here. That's when we realized they shut the heat off. It's cold. They want us out. It's cold. We're gonna die. This is how cold it's getting inside since they shut the heat off. Let's go. This is my husband taking a video. All packed up and ready to go. Now we're going home. The wife is right over there. I'm taking a video of my husband. I have no idea what he's saying. Successful day. We both feel good. She's recording me. I'm recording her. I'm really proud of my amazing husband because he sold two tables today. And we went into this thing thinking, okay, it's good exposure. We're going to hang up our stuff. We'll have some smalls and then we'll have our big stuff, which would be his tables and my paintings. And people in the Eau Claire area just fell in love with that kind of woodworking that I had never seen before. So he always handles himself so well. He's very stoic. He doesn't let people know. He has a very good poker face, unlike me, I'll put it that way. So he was very excited and awestruck and very happy that people actually came and said, wow, they have a woodworker in the area, meaning Wisconsin, that also does artistic functional art. So I just wanted to put that out there. Super proud of my unicorn of a husband. Good job, honey. Then when we were all done, we got everything back. We hang up our paintings and photos because we have to store them somewhere. This painting is one of my wife's students. That one is one of my wife's students. That one is one of my wife's students. So my wife's students, her go-to girls, they are a good inspiration for her. Ooh, heavier than I remember. Let's be all that baby weight. You're a jerk. She's gonna kick your butt. Yeah. These two are lighter than they seem. Skinny girls. Not staring at me. She got heavier since the last time too. It's because she's playing a berry now instead of an alto. Oh. <laughs> chopping berry sacks. Don't knock the berry. See, here's your comeuppance. You can't hang it right away. Thank you.
Ooh. Freshman 15. Oh, you cannot say that. I just did. You're a jack. You know what? You could have denied it. Like the good pseudo mom you are, but you didn't. You know what? You're. You didn't. You're encouraging me. Mm. It's a painting, Kara. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Sweetness. Don't you knock the hopper. I'll knock you off that ladder. It's so light. She's so skinny and pretty. Well, the art fair's over. The snowstorm's over. Everything's back to normal. So I hope you enjoyed this nice little video we made. So if there's any other artists out there thinking about doing an art fair, don't be a scared. That's how we say it in Wisconsin. Don't be scared. You, you have to get your stuff out in front of people. It's quite the experience. If you don't sell anything, you'll learn something. And at the, at the very least, you can at least people watch because they're interesting. Well, we appreciate everybody watching. We'll see you next time, whenever that is, hopefully next week. So thanks everybody, bye. It snowed today, so that's kind of poopy. In Wisconsin land, did you have a good day? Did you love all the snow? Did you think, oh hey, this is another awesome day, just kick in the face snow? How are you doing today? How, how's everybody out there today? Did you have a good day?